A story without verbs. A story without verbs. Ridiculous. Impossible. No, maybe not. Maybe a possibility. A writer in his study. A jazz record on the stereo. A saxophone solo. Paper in the typewriter. The sounds of fingers on the typewriter keys. A story without verbs. All sentence fragments. But what about plot? What about characters? A young woman, perhaps, and a young man. An unexpected encounter. A chance acquaintance. Their growing affection. Time spent together, a quarrel, reconciliation, then sex, her delicate underclothes, a great deal of sexual activity, lust and passionate devotion. But meanwhile, on the other side of town, a grisly murder evidence of torture and mutilation, the bloodiest crime in 20 years, a police investigation, a discovered weapon, a newspaper reporter on the case. What reporter? The young man, perhaps, or the young woman? Perhaps the writer from the beginning of the story. Perhaps another person altogether. Crowds of people on the sidewalk. The sound of traffic in the street. Summer, autumn, winter. The young man and the young woman still together. A vacant lot with snow. Snow on the roofs of the houses. Well folks, I hope you've been enjoying the show so far. We were going to have a couple of exotic dancers come down from Dayton, but apparently they have the flu. In their place, we'll continue with more music and poetry coming up next.